It's so easy to speak negatively. It's so easy to speak ourselves out of God's blessings because we are flesh. And because we are flesh, the carnal side of us is our default setting. We don't have to prime ourselves to be negative. We don't have to force ourselves to sin. It just happens naturally. And that is why we needed a savior. And that is why we need to be so grateful for what Jesus did on the cross for us. Without him and the sacrifice he made, we would be lost in our sinful nature. So like I said, it's so easy to be negative, but we need to change how we speak. Instead of speaking ourselves out of God's blessings, we need to speak God's blessings over ourselves. More and more, we need to speak life into our situations, into our lives. We need to speak about what God is doing and the things he has promised us he is going to do. The ten spies talked themselves out of their blessings, but it was a different story for Joshua and Caleb. They talked themselves into their blessings. They refused to speak like how everyone else was speaking. While everyone else was talking themselves out of God's blessings, as they were talking about how bad things were and how hopeless their situation was, Joshua and Caleb talked about how big God was. But Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and occupy it, for we are well able to overcome it. Numbers chapter 13 verse 30 When things seem bad and hopeless, we need to learn to silence ourselves if we don't have anything faith-filled to say. The negative words we speak will stop us from receiving what God has for us. All the Israelites had to do was speak themselves into their blessings, but instead they blocked God's blessings by the words they spoke. So they brought to the people of Israel a bad report of the land that they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone to spy it out is a land that devours its inhabitants, and all the people that we saw in it are of great height. And there we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, who come from the Nephilim, and we seemed to ourselves like grasshoppers, and so we seemed to them. Numbers chapter 13, verses 32 to 33. The enemy loves this, of course. He doesn't want us to speak God's promises over our lives and situations. He doesn't want to hear us speak the truth, because that is the only thing that will break his lies. He wants us to stay in bondage, and he wants us to speak ourselves out of God's blessings. But that can change. We need to change how we speak. And just because everyone around you is speaking negatively doesn't mean you have to do the same. Speak what God has promised you. God wants us to be confident. Our confidence is rooted in Jesus Christ. His word says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us and that we are more than conquerors in him. We need to speak God's word to ourselves so much more. So when everyone around you is speaking about how it can't be done, speak out what God has told you. Don't allow the enemy to talk you out of what God has for you. Go after it. Use your mouth to speak life to yourself, to speak yourself into God's blessings. That's what Caleb did when he was 85 years old, because he and Joshua believed God would help them when they entered the promised land they were given land. Time had passed and he was old, but God's promise to him was very much alive, he never let go of it, and even though the other tribes were failing to possess what God had promised them, Caleb believed God. For forty-five years, Caleb held on to God's promise for him, and in all that time, he never talked himself out of his blessing. And at eighty-five years, he went to ask for what God promised him. And now, behold, the Lord has kept me alive, just as he said, these forty-five years since the time that the Lord spoke this word to Moses, while Israel walked in the wilderness. And now behold, I am this day eighty-five years old, 
I am still as strong today as I was in the day that Moses sent me. My strength now is as my strength was then, for war and for going and coming. So now give me this hill country for which the Lord spoke on that day. For you heard on that day how the Anakim were there, with great fortified cities. It may be that the Lord will be with me, and I shall drive them out just as the Lord said. Joshua Chapter 14 Verses 10-12 to Caleb spoke himself into his blessing. He knew what God had told him, and he wasn't going to let anything stop him from receiving it, and he got the mountain he asked for. Even though it took a long time he kept on believing, he never gave up hope. He never once talked himself out of God's blessings. Let's be like Caleb and speak ourselves into what God has prepared for us. Let's pray. King Jesus, there is so much negative stuff to think about and talk about, but teach us when to quiet ourselves. When we are about to speak death in a situation, help us to quiet ourselves. When everyone around us is talking about how bad things are, help us to silence ourselves. We don't want to talk ourselves out of the blessings you have for us. Instead, we want to speak ourselves into your blessings so much more than we are doing now. There are mountains you have prepared for us, blessings you have for us that you want us to possess. So we choose to speak life. In your word it says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they who indulge in it shall eat the fruit of it, for death or life. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 We ask for your help, Lord, to speak the right way, to speak life instead of death. Even when it's easy to speak about everything going wrong, we speak out your word. We speak out what we are trusting in you for. Your word tells us in Proverbs chapter 12 verse 18, the words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Help us, Father, to understand the power of our words and to use them wisely. May we speak life into our situations and trust in your promises, knowing that you are faithful and true. Lord, we look to the example of David who, despite facing many challenges, spoke with confidence in your deliverance. In Psalm chapter 27 verse 13, he declared, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Like David, may we speak words of faith and confidence, trusting in your power and goodness. Give us the wisdom to know when to speak and when to remain silent. In Proverbs chapter 17, verse 28, it says, Even fools are thought wise if they keep silent and discerning if they hold their tongues. Grant us discernment, Lord, to speak words of life and hope and to remain silent when needed to avoid speaking negativity. We also declare your promises over our lives, trusting in your word. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10, you say, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We speak this promise over our lives, knowing that you are with us, strengthening and upholding us. We pray all these things in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.